Good morning. So this is going to be a quick video on how to get Fantasy Grounds. Now Fantasy Grounds has a 30 minute long intro video on how to get Fantasy Grounds, which is way over the top. So this is going to be really short. So first off, we start off with Google. We type in Fantasy Grounds. We click on the website. Do, do, do. Okay, so now we're at the very top of the website. We have these three. Okay, so everyone's, we're going to get the demo first. If we like Fantasy Grounds, if we want to host games, we could get Standard or Ultimate. And I'll let you read about what does what, but basically Ultimate allows anyone with the demo to play on your table. Standard requires anyone with Standard to play on your table, but you can host games with these two. With this one, you cannot host games. However, you could buy products with all three, okay? So we're gonna click on this. We're gonna assume you have Windows. We're just gonna click on it, and it's gonna download this web installer. All right, I'm gonna stop that. So while that web installer is installing or downloading, okay, uh, you're gonna go over here to the forums and click that, and you're gonna register. All right, you're gonna put in some stuff here and we're gonna proceed. All right, you're gonna enter in all of this information. Now, this username is your GM name. So don't put something crazy in there, right? You're gonna to have to live with it. Everything that you buy is gonna be linked to this name. When you set up Fantasy Grounds and actually run your first game, it's gonna be under this DM name. So it needs to be something that people will recognize it possibly is you, so maybe your Discord handle. I use my Discord handle, okay? Make sure you put an email address that you can get access to. Everybody just saw my email address there. Um, all right, and then fill this out. All right, so you're gonna fill this out, you're gonna complete registration, and then you're gonna get an email. You're gonna go to that email and you're gonna activate your account, okay? All right, so uh, once that's done, you're gonna go and install Fantasy Grounds Unity, all right? And so web installer, just, just have it go to the default locations. Um, and then you're gonna get an icon on your desktop. All right, we'll be right back with what to do next. Okay, so we, we, have, uh, we have installed Fantasy Grounds and now we open it, we click on it, we double click it and we're open to this. Okay, you can see that I am logged in. So you may start with this screen or if you, if you do, you're gonna click the settings button because what you wanna do is you wanna get to this screen right here okay all right so uh, you're gonna put in your forum username and your forum password right there okay if you bought the demo version you're just gonna leave this blank okay if you bought one of the other versions you're gonna go into your fantasy grounds account on their website look at your order history and your count key will be right there and you can just copy it from the website and place it right here okay so once you do that all right, you're gonna click save. All right, you're gonna log in. You're gonna click save. All right, and then uh, don't worry about any of this stuff, okay? And then after you click save, it's gonna take it back to the screen. You're gonna hit the update button. Now, I don't think there's gonna be any updates this morning, but there might be. So it's running through all the products I updated. So um, it's gonna make sure you have the most up-to-date version of Fantasy Grounds Unity. Then you're gonna launch Fantasy Grounds. All right, so after you make your forum account, uh, you're gonna go back to the Fantasy Grounds homepage. All right, these are the two important steps. You have to purchase uh, the game, and then you have to update. So first, we're gonna purchase the game. We're gonna scroll down here until we see BOL. So we're just gonna click on that. It's gonna take us to the Barbarians of Lemire storefront, which happens to be on sale today. So we're gonna buy this. This is our base game here, okay? Now, I probably, uh, tomorrow, it's Tuesday, so today's the 21st, I think, the 22nd, so maybe the 23rd. It's going to be the next week or two. Uh, Honor and Entry will also show up on this page. Okay, it's, it's been reviewed, updated, and ready to go. So you're also going to purchase that. And that's going to get you your Barbarians of Lemuria base game with the book reference manual built in, all the image records, all the NPC records, everything. And then it's also going to get you the same for honors, Honor and Entry. Okay? Now, very important. When you leave this website and you go back to Fantasy Grounds, after you make your purchase and after you log into your account, you hit the update button. What that's going to do, it's going to download the files and put it in the vault for you to use. All right. Now we're going to go on how you actually create your game and uh, play inside Fantasy Grounds. Okay. And it's going to take you back to the screen. All right. So now you have 
a major account, you've got Fantasy Grounds, you're ready to go. You're actually ready to go to join a game. If you wanted to join a game, somebody was going to run on or an entry, you would click join. You would search their GM name here. You could click on them and start. Maybe they have a password. Who knows, right? So it's that easy, right? If you want to create an honor entry game, you're going to create the campaign. Now, you have to purchase a few things to uh, play honor and entry. The first thing you have to purchase is the Barbarians of Lemuria rule set. So it's based off of Barbarians of Lemuria. Now, when you buy this, you get the rule set, you get the Barbarians of Lemuria core book, you get the adventures, you get all the monsters, like you get the full game. Okay, um, and then you also need to purchase honor and intrigue because we have to, you know, basic action games needs his cut. And so when you do that, um, all you do to play honor and intrigue is you go over here to this extensions and there's going to be a little thing that says honor and intrigue. Okay, and you're going to click on that and then we're just going to call this honor and intrigue YouTube, except we're going to maybe spell it right. Potentially, okay. And um, now uh, this is going to be—it's going to load the barbarians or the rule set up into Fantasy Grounds, and then it's going to overlay this other code I created over it. And when you do this, it's going to have your books and everything in there. Okay. So now the other thing we can choose is a theme. I think this looks really good with the light theme. That's how the—you the, see the pictures on the website. <clears throat> That's how. Uh, that's what they look like. So we're just going to start this up. We're going to go land mode because I don't want to put it on the web. And we're going to get our desktop. So, so that's basically it. Now, once Fantasy Grounds loads, uh, you'll have to do one more thing. And it's going to be you want to load the Honor and Intrigue core book. And when you load the core book, it's going to have a, a facsimile of the actual book in there as the reference manual and it's actually going to have all the records. So we're going to go to library. We're going to click modules. Okay. We're going to click activation. Now I have a bunch of stuff here. You can see this is the Barbarians of Lemuria reference manual in here. Honor. Okay. So you're going to see this. It's going to say honor and intrigue basic action games. We're going to load that. All right. And now the book's loaded. So now if we want to have like a, a this isn't exactly like the PDF, but I did. It's a close approximation. You can actually see the book in here and you can thumb through it you can make it bigger okay but that's not where fantasy grounds really shines it's these records you can see we have all the boon records their individual records loaded in here all the maneuvers are set up for roles um, we have whatever spells he included with the original okay and these are all drag and drop integrated with the uh, character so if we click on player click on character um, we have my character here I can take these records as I create my character and I can actually drop them in here and if I roll his savvy with that clicked it, it rolls the bonus die, right? Drops the one. So it's all automated, okay? All the items are built in. If I go into the items, I can take an item and I can drag this ax and then now it's on this front page. Well, what did I just do? Did I not do it? Oh, it's there. And then I go to this front page, and here's my axe, and I can roll it, okay? And if I have the trait that allows me to roll the bonus die, so I just click that right there, and it's going to roll it with the bonus die. Um, this is going to use daring, might, savvy. Um, the damage dice is going to roll a d6. I mean, it's all automated, okay? I can roll a parry. Same thing with maneuvers. Um, in this case, it's, it's doing a melee maneuver, right? Um, but if the rest of the maneuvers can be run on the actions tab, we can just take our maneuver here. We can do brawling and we can roll it. And it's going to use brawl, daring versus defense. So if you target, it's actually going to subtract the defense to determine whether you uh, succeeded or not. Okay. Um, all right. So that's, that's it for the video. Uh, I'm going to combine these two together. I know it went fast, but I did that to not waste anyone's time. And you're more than welcome to rewatch things if you missed something. Um, I'll probably do other videos on how to use the rule set a little bit later, but uh, let me know if you have any questions.